In this tutorial, we'll be looking at importing special overlay images. We are all familiar with the PIP objects in PowerDirector 7, and these are overlay images. For this tutorial, a number of images have been created and have been made available in the media library. In the second half of this tutorial, you will be shown how a special overlay image guides the placement of video and images in PIP Designer. To create an overlay image, you'll need an image editor. Here is a super image of a butterfly, and using the lasso highlight edging tool in the image editor to track around its edge, the butterfly is copied and removed. Placed as a new file with the transparent background, the flaws show up clearly. With a change of background and using the paint tool, the butterfly image becomes true. Leaving the image on a white background in this instance will mean changes in PIP Designer have to be made. The butterfly image is brought into PIP Designer. The chrome key is used. Finally, the special image is saved to PIP objects. The butterfly image has been added to a video by using PIP Designer. Edit and add a motion path, if you wish. Remember to save the finished PIP project. Here the image editor is being used to create an image we'll use to highlight one part of a video. The special image is saved as a PNG image file. We click on modify. We go to the change the size of it first of all, put it over an object, make it transparent so you can see through it but it highlights the actual object only faintly and then if we wish to track it across the screen perhaps we could use these tools previously shown and you could track that airplane as it flew across the sky or where it came from. Here we have a, an overlay image that when enlarged creates uh, an effect as though it is a trapezoid effect or a parallelogram giving depth to the image gives you space to write on the left hand side or a title underneath and now for something completely different as you can see we've used print screen to create an image of a blank file that's what that's supposed to be a blank file if we then use an editing tool we then grab this particular area that we're after which is the one with all the small squares get as close in as you can and grab it to the full size then create a new image. In this particular image editor it's pretty easy to create once all I have to do is drag it to the open space. We then end up with an image file that is 960 by 540 exactly what we want. We then create further images from the one image we drag that image into here without any reduction just keep it the same size squares all the way through. So we end up with three images what we want. Back now to PowerDirector 7. There we have one of the images in display there. Another one. Another one. And you'll notice they're different sizes, different size squares, really small. Not exactly what you're after perhaps, but there is a reason for all this. And this is a special overlay image that once you've used it, you remove it. Here's how it works. First of all, you can click on the image, click Modify, bring it up, and it, uh, PIP Designer comes up, you click on the Add Edit Motion tab for PIP objects, you move the transparency to about 70%, perhaps you want to go up to 80, you can do if you want to, and then, just to show how it, what it's used for, that's the TV safe zone, that's the grid lines. 
the squares that you're I'm showing you here will be used to help you place image files or video files accurately you save that as guidelines large they're large squares and click OK then OK here here's how the special overlay image works of those three images we made we've made them into customized pip objects drag any one of the three down in fact we've dragged all three of them down here highlight one and click modify and already you can see something happening on the right hand side here click on the grid lines click on the, click on the TV safe zone and you will see how accurately now that we've positioned these three video files into the working preview window very easy very straightforward that's all because we've got these special small little squares to line everything up by and we can see through them click OK and we're out of there highlight this one we've got three different sizes of squares and as you can see once again grid lines TV safe zone go to the add edit motion for pip objects and all we're after is the transparency level if we move the slider down to minimum we can see the squares see how they line up across the top, across the bottom across the edges easily usable to put a video file in place make it transparent so you can see through it see the image files how does it does position work? Quite straightforward. Click on one of the video files, click modify, brings up the pip designer. Put in the grid if you wish to. Or the TV safe so. And you can easily move around the the video file to wherever you want to. Simple and easy. And you line it up with the squares. Should we put it just about there? No, it's not on center, but that one is. How about that? Click OK when done. All the video files have been positioned correctly. Then go to PIP Track 6. Highlight and then delete this special overlay image file because it's no longer required and it's gone and you have your video files perfectly positioned job done